Well, here it is, 85 Crew Cab Dually two-wheel drive. I've been looking a long time for a Virgin and uh, finally got one. It's a two-owner, big block, Silverado. All this grandpa crap's gonna come off, of course. You can see through the bug shields and push bumpers and brush guards and fog lights. California truck, it's whole life. Down by Sacramento. It's uh, never been wrecked, never been rusty in the least. Run board's gotta go. It's probably a hundred bucks for the scrap aluminum there. Those mirrors gotta go. But it's a nice, clean, factory, unmolested rig. Nice blue interior. Pull straps still on the door. No holes in the seat. It's not broken down either. It feels good. Original rugs. Not wore out. Really, really, really clean truck. It took a long time to find one this virgin anymore. And also one that wasn't customized. You know, back in the heydays of Dooley's. It does have an aftermarket stereo. Windows locks, cruise. Three plus three. Camper special, all that crap. 10,000 pound truck. Beautiful interior. Completely stock. Good looking truck. I had given up finding a good one. Since they've all been down a million miles of logging roads or on the farm their whole life. Rock quarries. You know, that kind of crap. It's had a camper. Those are coming off. Mud flaps got to go. Brand new dual exhaust. Headers. Dump bumpers going. Putting a plain chrome one on there. Uh oh, there's a ding. Uh oh. Gonna have to get rid of it now. Fenders aren't broken or messed up. Super, super dry. That's the best part about this truck. I looked at a hundred of them and this one doesn't even have the factory rust. Inside the box. Perfectly straight. Nice flat floor. No bow in the gate. God, these mirrors got to go. I got the little tiny ones for it. Those red boards are gross. It's got um, 120,800 miles on it. Dual tanks. AC works. Both the gas gauges work and the switch. No tote wheel, kind of bizarre, but I always run my wheel in the straight position anyway. Trailer brakes. Uh, rug ain't even wore out. The guy got it from super picky. Towed a race car trailer with it. Man, the seams on this thing are just amazing. Little surface rust there from the seat belt but all the door jams look like this one flawless
need a set of fake Alcoas. Stick with the 16s. I got a... Uh, let's see, what is it? A 6, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, Roller rockers. It's got a lumpy, it's got kind of a lumpy camshaft in it. Doug Thorley headers. Um, fully serviced. Like I said, the guy was super, super picky. Good guy to buy a car from. Hard guy to sell one to, I'm sure. Um, good truck. I'd given up. I'm, uh, I'd given up, and a week later, this one came along. I had to go to Sacramento, like I said, but it was out in the desert, and I guess that's where all the dry shivalers live these days. So, there you have it. That's the first look. I'll fix it. It's way too high. Wheels aren't shiny enough. I'm not gonna do nineteen uh, fives or semi wheels or none of that crap on it. I'm too old. So we'll just stick with the sixteens. Put it on the ground. No bags. Bags are for groceries. But these good square shovelays are getting hard to find and. Uh, also finding one that hasn't had a bunch of fiberglass rolled pans bondoed onto them and sun visors and holes in the cab and you know been a rock quarry their whole life so there you have it <laughs>